Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got a kitting up to do today and I thought you'd like to join me. Seems like ages since I've sat and had a chat. <laughs> and I'll witter away in all my videos. But uh, yes, yeah, so I thought that you'd maybe like to uh, just sit and have a little chat with me while I go through and uh, put all these drills into containers. So I've uh, copied uh, my little key code. Um, we're going to be doing the stickers from Graph Buddy Crystal Art. Um, it's a bumper set of stickers. I think this one is it's 40 different colours and it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 16 sticker sheets. So this is the biggest one. Um, I did buy the full set. I have got an unboxing uh, on my playlist if you want to see that. Um, that one has 32 colours. That one was only 2, 4, 6, 8 sheets. And I think that one's two, four, six, eight sheets as well. That one's 14 colours. Uh, Diamond Painting Gamer, who Jen has actually uh, done these um, snowflakes. If you don't check out her channel on YouTube, uh, lovely lady, fantastic Scottish accent. I could listen to her all day. Uh, so, yeah, if you want to pop across and see those, uh, she has done those. So I just thought I'd do the biggest set. Let's start with the biggest first and then we can do the smaller ones if we get time. <laughs> But I want to use these actually as window clings and things. So, yeah, that's what I'm going to try and do with these. So, as I say, I've copied the little key code uh, and I've run it through my Xyron sticker maker so that I've made them into stickers. So, I can now put them onto my drill containers. And this is the, if you remember, um, on one of my previous unboxings, where, while I where I'm looking at various different storage ideas. This is one of the containers I got, but then I actually added extra um, little containers into it. So I've got way more than 40. Now I've got two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 11, six. I've actually got 66 in here. I don't really need 66, but uh, it's just the one that I've got available at the moment that I thought I'd use. Um, it, does normal, it doesn't normally come with the bits of card. I have put these in. These are little bits of mount board just to hold them in nice straight lines because I can't do with, you know, when you pull out a drill um, container and then all the others slip down and they all end up not in order. And I've also, she says, hopefully lifting it, I've put a piece of hard board uh, in the bottom as well so that they're stood flat rather than, there's like a raised bit there. I think you can see it way it's like a handle grip the finger grip and it just stops them from all sitting flat and i don't like that either so <laughs> not that i'm picky of course but yeah so that's uh, my containers i'm using so let's get these popped onto these containers and then we'll get the drills out and get going putting them in there okay see if i can get this off it. so yeah that's just uh, the carrier sheet just takes any excess sticky off and just leaves the sticky underneath the uh, numbers that you're using. So we want to start at this one first because that's number one. If when you're doing these and you've got them on the carrier sheet, don't cut all the way through the carrier sheet, just cut through the actual uh, number there that you're doing and then they're easier to peel off. Okay, I learnt the hard way on that. The first time I did it, I cut them all singly and then spent ages trying to peel them all off um, as like little single stickers uh, without any edges to hold on to. It was, uh, yeah, very time consuming. So I don't do that anymore. Not if I can help it anyway. <laughs> so just cut in between all these first. So how's everybody doing? Um, I am trying to keep up with everybody's videos if you're a YouTube creator. And uh, thank you to everybody for your lovely comments uh, and questions and hints and tips. I think I'm going to have to start um, doing like a, a whip and chat and doing hints and tips that you all send in to me, that you all uh, suggest to me because there's some really, really good ones. And I really do appreciate each and every one of them. It really uh, warms my little heart when uh, I get nice little comments and things. It's lovely to know that uh, you're watching, basically, and that you're all out there and saying hello. <laughs> Welcome if you're new. And if you've come back uh, for uh, more helpings of, well, whatever Liz gets up to. 
<laughs> and thank you very much for coming back okay so yeah we're uh, practically coming up to the last run up to christmas i can't believe it somebody's definitely uh, stolen a couple of months off me i uh, i just uh, yeah i seem to think we've gone from the really really hot weather in july and all of a sudden it's december <laughs> i just can't believe it it's like oh who pinched those extra months in between and uh, yeah where did the cold weather suddenly come from uh, yeah, somebody told me it's a sign of getting old and I said, oh, thanks a lot. <laughs> Just what I needed to hear. <laughs> but it's probably true, to be fair. So, yeah, are you all getting on with your diamond paintings for Christmas or do you not diamond paint over Christmas? Because it's just uh, too much of everything else to do. That is my chair creaking, by the way. It's not me. Yeah, I've not got that old yet that my bones creak like that. <laughs> squeaky chair no it's the cushion it's like a, a, a fake leather chair that uh, i'm sat on and uh, yeah i've put some cushions on it because it's not very comfortable and uh, when it gets hot you tend to stick to it as well so i have some cushions on and it's the cushion squeaking that's my story and i am sticking to it <laughs> Uh, how are you all getting on with your Christmas decorations? Uh, I know, sorry, I know not everybody celebrates Christmas and I know some people don't like Christmas. So I do apologise because it is uh, one of my favourite times of year and I just, I'm a big kid when it comes to Christmas. So yeah, that's... Uh, <laughs> Hubby just looks at me in despair. Uh, on Sunday, we have got our Scottish Terrier uh, rescue uh, Christmas party so we'd be along it's Stex S-T-E-C-S yeah that's right uh, I've got the link down below and um, there's also another charity I support as well which is Many Tears um, I always put their links down below if you'd like to pop and just uh, go and see what they're all about uh, but yeah we love the uh, Scotty one because we go to uh, the summer parties. Sadly, this year's summer party was cancelled because of the hot weather. Can you believe we've not had um, one of the like gatherings for a long time due to the uh, pandemic? And then when we actually get one booked, we suddenly get this uh, really, really hot summer weather. <laughs> and because it was outside, it was decided it was just going to be too hot for dogs, travelling cars and people as well, of course and to be outside and everything so and sadly it was cancelled but we have got our christmas party on sunday and uh, one of the people does dress up as santa and all the little scottish terriers line up and get a little present from santa it's fab <laughs> oh dear i do love it absolutely love it so this brings out the big kid in me what can i say Right, so lots of gems and colours. I'll just quickly show you the uh, stickers. Okay, so we've got Santa and a Robin and a Bell with a few smaller stickers on there. And then some baubles and candles and a lovely big wreath. So I did do an unboxing on all of these. I will just quickly show you the different ones. I think this is a bullfinch possibly I'm not sure they're around at christmas uh, maybe somebody can let me know we've got a very um not a happy looking cat do you think he didn't get what he wanted for christmas <laughs> oh we've got a gnome yeah we've got to have the gnomes and a robin and oh we've got that looks like a little border collie there a brown border collie and a snowman and then another snowman oh and another gnome and another christmas tree so yeah i just thought these are great for a decorating round Um, i was going to use them as uh, christmas cards but i think i'm going to keep them because i just like them and uh, use them as decorations around the house and then if you keep your carrier shape the bit that you've got them on then uh, you can then take them off peel them off and put them back on the carrier sheets for next year and then peel them off again they're a transparent sticker as well so all the edges are transparent so you've not got uh, a white edge or anything they will just look as though they're part of the decoration okay right so let's get these drills 
start putting them into their little bottles. Where shall we start? Not sure which end it starts at. Let's have a look at these there. Oh, two different colours. My goodness me. It's in one of these trick bags as well that opens at both ends. <laughs> okay, so where do we start? Number one is A. So we're looking for number one. So that's, oh, that's a hashtag. That's a plus. That's 6543T. Oh dear. TTT. E. B A Z one. Okay. Oh, these are going to go in a funny order. Right. So where are we now? That one's. Oh, that one's a um, triangle and equals and a funny little sign there. Okay. So let's have a look at this side. That's a dollar sign. That one's an hour and a percent. So what have we got on here? Ah, right, there's A. So let's start at this end then. Shout if I start going wrong, you know what I'm like. <laughs> and uh, we'll see how these work out. Okay, and I have found my nice rainbow scissors as well. My small ones, they'd fallen off my desk down the back. So, yeah, I had to go on my hands and knees on the floor looking for them. And there they were. Yeah, everything seems to jump off my desk. I'm not quite sure why. It's a nice desk. I don't know why they don't want to be on it. <laughs> so, yeah, what have we been up to? We've um, been to a garden centre and went to have a look around all their Christmas decorations and things. Um, as I've mentioned before, I do collect glass Christmas tree toys. So we went to have a look and see what they had in because I do like to try and get some new ones each year. Um, yeah, at the moment, well, we have actually now put up the Christmas tree. Uh, I'll put a photograph of it. it. Hasn't got any toys or anything on it yet. Because um, the last couple of years, um, well, Hubby was in hospital last Christmas. Um, I did put the tree up because he did come home for Christmas Day, uh, but he wasn't really moving around a lot in his wheelchair and he didn't have his electric wheelchair, which he's now got. And uh, yeah, he's quite lethal in his electric wheelchair because, uh, yeah, it seems to keep going. He seems to uh, take his hand off the lever and it just seemed to keep going a little bit afterwards. And he's not quite judged it yet. And I mean, our room isn't the biggest room in the world. And I was just, well, I kept saying, I don't really think we ought to put the tree up, but he's determined, because he knows I love Christmas. Um, he's determined he wants me to put the Christmas tree up. And then I said, yeah, but if you run into it and knock it over with all my glass toys on, um, a, you could hurt yourself and B, you could, you know, ruin all my Christmas tree toys, which, you know, I'd, I'd sooner not put them up than uh, risk them all getting broken. And obviously you're getting hurt. Is that enough going on? We don't want any accidents at Christmas. You don't want to be in a hospital this Christmas as well. Once is enough. So anyway, he came up with this really good idea of because it's like a false Christmas tree it's not a real Christmas tree and um, to actually just sort of have it as a half Christmas tree so rather than having it stood and having all the branches round it we've sort of like pushed it up against the wall and then just pushed pulled all the branches forward so you've got like a half Christmas tree if you understand what I mean <laughs> so it, it's flush up against the wall um, and none of the branches at the back are uh, bushed out so like the actual top of the Christmas tree is up against the wall and all the branches just come out and come out slightly. So it's made it sort of smaller and not sticking out quite so much. And I was, I'm still a bit dubious about putting my toys on it. So uh, while we were at the garden centre, we bought these two decorations that are like hanging decorations and they've got jingle bells on the bottom. You know, you, you shake them and they, they sound like Santa coming. Ding, 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 ding. Um, uh, maybe just me then. <laughs> so 
so I said, right, I'm going to put these on the tree <laughs> before we put the toys on. And uh, we'll, you know, have it out for a couple of days before we put any toys on. And then if you knock into it with your chair, then I'll hear the bell ringing and I'll know. <laughs> like setting a trap for hubby <laughs> but i know what he's like because he's determined he wants me to have the tree up so he'll just say no i've never banged into the tree i've not touched the tree i've not gone anywhere near the tree um but uh, yeah with having the uh, bells on it now if it does um yeah it, it, it'll ring <laughs> i know he wouldn't do it on purpose and it would be you know, I mean, accidents happen. I think every year when you've got glass toys, I think every year we open the boxes, no matter how carefully we've packed them and put them away, we always seem to end up with one broken one each year. Uh, sadly, last year it was one of my favourites. It was a, a great big dragonfly. It was about this big. The wings were like that and the body was about that long and it was beautiful. It was all blues and turquoises. Uh, really, really pretty, uh, and unfortunately that one broke. And uh, with them being glass, the quite a thin glass, you, you can't stick them back together. It's not like if you've got a china item or anything, you know, once they've gone, they've gone. And it's not safe to have them on the tree, you know, if the children come along and start touching them, they've got sharp edges, so unfortunately they've got to go, which breaks my heart, but I then think, well, it could be worse. You know, it is only a Christmas tree toy. Um, yeah, they mean a lot and I've bought them from a lot of different places, but uh, yeah, as I say, I, I can't get upset about it anymore. It's just these things happen. I think uh, with all the illness and everything and the way our lives have changed in the last three years, I've very much mellowed out and uh, the small stuff doesn't faze me quite so much anymore. <laughs> Okay, on to J. So, yeah, so watch this space. Um, we may or may not have toys on the Christmas tree. But to be fair, it's a pre-lit one. Um, it's like a fibre optic tree. And uh, then we've got lights that we've put on it as well. So it's quite nice just stood there with, without any decoration on and with the lights on. So I don't mind. It's still Christmassy. And I'm going to have so many diamond paintings and stickers and wreaths and... Um, what else have I got? Ornaments and, oh my goodness, hanging things that, uh, yeah, the house is going to look really Christmassy anyway. And I've still got my little Scotty dog tree that I put up. Um, it's one of those where it's, well, it's uh, aqua blue, um, like tinsel all wrapped around circles and it just folds completely flat. And then you have like a big pearl that you just put the pearl up and then you just put the uh, tree over the top of it and it just all bloop. So it's just like a, a big triangle in the uh, middle of the living room. It's great fun. Right, I need some stickers, so bear with me a second. All right, I'm going to be using uh, more than one little bottle for this amount of drills. This is L, which is, where are we up to? Okay, L and... Yeah, it's number 12, so I'm going to be putting a lot in here. In fact, I might need more than one, so let's get two bottles out ready and then we'll write some labels. Okay. So, all the neighbours are putting up all their Christmas trees as well. Um, it's amazing. I think everybody has decided because it's been such a, a not a good year. Um with their prices and things going up and all sorts of other things going on that people just want to celebrate a little bit earlier this year and have some fun and have a bit of joy in their lives. So yeah, Christmas trees are definitely up earlier this year. Uh, in fact, even the radios, um, I noticed we were in the car last week, which was, you know, the week before the last week in November. And uh, yeah, there was Christmas carols playing on the radio and I was saying to Hubby, didn't they only used to play Christmas carols at, um, well, from the 1st of December? I don't remember the radios playing the uh, Christmas carols quite so early. And he was like, yeah, I don't think they did. Um, so, yeah, it looks like everybody's wanting to just have a little bit of fun. 
right so we're at a12 and it's l and it is oh it's 666 dmc number 666 oh i've got some other sheet underneath there that's making it go a bit rocky all right so it's a12 and l and it's a six a six a six okay let's get these popped away yeah so christmas is coming goodness um i've got my christmas shopping today all my frozen stuff came today so i do like to get it early i can't be doing with ordering it last minute um it just worries me too much if uh, i'm going to be doing something then uh, yeah i need to have it and have it all organized uh the last three christmases <laughs> haven't been brilliant um no, last christmas as i say hubby was in hospital um and i'd got all the stuff but uh, even though he came home for christmas day he still wasn't brilliantly well oh looks like we're gonna have to do yeah, some of the two colors of this one to do uh, another one as well um so he didn't really fancy his christmas dinner so i think it was round about january when we finally got our christmas dinner last <laughs> year but uh, I managed to do, you know, a nice dinner for him, a nice meal for him. But uh, we just didn't have the uh, full Christmas dinner. We do like, well, we're not overly keen on turkey, but we do seem to get a turkey for some reason. Um, or like, you know, a turkey joint, you know, just a small thing, not a great big turkey anymore. We used to when the kids were little um, and we had my mum and dad come for Christmas dinner a couple of times. But... Uh, yeah, we tend to just, you know, get a, a Christmas dinner. We have the roast potatoes and Yorkshire puddings and all things like that. But uh, we just don't go overboard anymore. Um, and then obviously you've got to have all the different sweets and uh, desserts. And uh, yeah, so we, uh, <laughs> we got that delivered today. So my freezer is now full, which is great. Um, yeah that's the food shopping more or less done just fresh stuff to get really now why did i cut that before i cut the bottom one off don't ask that was a silly thing to do but anyway we'll give it a go <laughs> and i've got all the christmas shopping done as well like the present shopping to be honest um the grandkids and that are getting money this year because uh, they've just got so much and to be fair we've not really seen them this year at all which is sad um but they've been at school and we just you know with hubby the way he is we just can't visit like we used to um well to be honest it hubby can't even get into uh, our daughter's house because it's up steps and things and it's got a real narrow doorway um and because he can't stand then he can't actually get in oh, trying to do it the wrong way now look <laughs> making a mess of this so yeah that, that's a bit sad but anyway so but we'll try we've got a new little ramp so we'll see if we can uh, do something and I, you know it is quite heavy um although it doesn't really weigh a lot and obviously you know he's he, he has only got one leg um you know it's like a dead weight and it is quite difficult to uh, lift somebody you don't realize until you need to try and lift somebody how heavy they actually are uh, you know you always think oh no that you know person's not heavy i can manage that but uh, it is quite difficult so anyway but we'll work around it and we will have to try and uh, next year see them a bit more because they're just growing up so fast and we're just missing everything and uh, yeah anyway don't talk about sad things liz right where are we up to now we're up to n so n is there yeah, so they're all getting ready for Christmas and uh, I've got all Millie's Christmas presents. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be dressing her up as a Christmas pudding on Sunday when we go to the uh, little Christmas party. So she'll hate me for days. <laughs> She's really funny. Um, while we were at the garden centre on uh, Sunday, 
um gosh it was honestly it was it was just amazing i've never seen so many dogs it was like going around the park because they do allow you to take dogs into the garden center and uh, they do have half of the restaurant is non-dog and half of the restaurant you can take dogs in which is a lovely idea and judging by the amount of people that actually had dogs with them then uh, i think they're up to a winner because they've obviously got a lot more customers uh, because they can take the dogs with them and um, yeah so that was good fun but yeah nilly came across this little dachshund and it had its little christmas jumper on and it was just so cute oh, and she absolutely loved him we've had this before she seems to have a thing about dachshunds i'm not quite sure why but she just loves them and particularly puppies and uh, oh this little dachshund she was absolutely gorgeous and she had this little pink jumper with the, a little christmas tree on the back and I said to uh, Millie, look, she's wearing her jumper and she's enjoying it. And Millie just looks at me as if to say, you've got to be kidding. If you think you're putting me in a jumper, you've got another thing coming. And I'm just thinking, yeah, I'm putting you in a Christmas pudding on Sunday. So. <laughs> Not a real one. It's like, um, well, you'll get to see the photographs anyway, but it's like um, a big sort of Christmas pudding cushion and then it just fastens under a tummy. So it's not tight. It's just on Velcro and everything. And then it's a little tiny Christmas pudding that just goes on her head. <laughs> I'm going to get the RSPCA coming after me out for cruelty. <laughs> oh dear. As I say, Millie hates wearing anything. Um, she doesn't like me even wearing a collar. She doesn't wear a collar in the house. She only wears it when she goes out and that's under sufferance because she knows she can't go out unless she's got a collar and laid on. So, yeah. Oh dear. And she will sometimes try and get her collar off while she's um, running around. You suddenly see her sort of like go and she'll start rolling and trying to scratch at her collar and I'm like, yeah, you're not getting it off. And if you do, you're going straight home. <laughs> Uh, anyway, she's uh, been to the vets and had her MOT. So she's uh, got a clean bill of health. And uh, yeah, we, we could have told them that. But no, we go every year. She has her annual injections and everything. Her MOT is what you call it. <laughs> and obviously, because we're going, you know, we're going to be with a lot of different uh, Scotty dogs on Sunday. I think there's possibly about 50 go. I think the summer ones, because it's in a bigger venue, I think we see more of those. And obviously the weather's better as well. And uh, people do travel from all over the country to come to it. So if the weather's not good, then, you know, it's people tend to stay away. Or some people sort of like stay at friends that's a little bit closer, which is lovely. Uh, we've made some fantastic friends just literally through Scotty Rescue. That's, uh, yeah. It's good to meet people that have got the same interests as you because you can say, oh, you'll never guess what I saw. It was one of those and it was so cute and I just had to get it. And they'll say, oh, if it was a Scotty dog, of course you had to get it. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> same as diamond painting, really. You know, another, di another diamond painter will say to you, oh, yeah, I fully understand why you got that. Whereas a non-diamond painter will look at you as if to say, are you mad? <laughs> Oh dear. So yeah, that's uh, going to be our weekend. Uh, our friends coming with us. I've got a lot of uh, items to donate as well because they do uh, auctions. I think um, Scottish Terrier Rescue will do auctions, I think, twice a year um, to raise funds. They do them online, so that's really good. Uh, so you can just bid uh, over a certain time and whoever's obviously got the winning bid at the end wins the item. And uh, Many Tears Animal Rescue, so, which is the other one that I support there down in uh, Wales, in Carefilly, somewhere around there, is it Langolan? Langolan? Somewhere around there anyway. Um, yeah, so they do an annual, uh, sorry, a monthly auction. So I'm quite often getting uh, jigsaws for my mum from them because they get some really good quality jigsaws, you know, that people have maybe bought and only done once. So they look really, really good, really uh, nice ones. And uh, yeah, my mum loves the jigsaws. So we'll get her those. 
We're always on the lookout. And other bits and pieces as well. There's always other bits and pieces that uh, we get. So, and it's quite fun. Albeit some of the auctions, you know, you see something and you think, oh, I'd love that. And then somebody puts in a really, really high bid and you think, no, I'm not going to top that bid. <laughs> I'm not getting into a bidding war. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you've got to be sensible. Yeah, we've had some really good bits and pieces, uh, but uh, I do like to uh, share the love. And uh, as I say, I've got two big, well, sort of supermarket trolley bags full of uh, bits for them so that they can auction them next year. There's a few more funds to help the uh, Scotty dogs. Um, I think they do help other dogs as well, but it's it's um, amazing how many um, you know owners have Scotties and then sadly pass away, and the Scotty maybe need to rehoming, um, or they become ill, or they have to go into a home, or your circumstances change, and sometimes you know with the best will in the world, uh, animals do cost money, and uh, at the moment, yeah, a lot of people are struggling, unfortunately. Um, so, you know, you've got to think, well, they are family, but uh, you can't always afford them and the vet bills as well, which are quite high. So, um, yeah, what did we pay? £130 it cost us to take Millie for her MOT and do everything. So, oh, right, this has got three bags, so I'm going to need a lot for this one. Okay, so let me move this rubbish out of the way. So, yes, yeah, Stex, um, the Scottish Terrier Rescue and Many Tears will help people out as well if they are stuck. Um, you know, and you never know how your circumstances are going to change. Uh, I mean, if you'd said to uh, myself and hubby sort of three years ago, three years, four years ago, um, you know, oh, you won't be working. Um, you'll both be uh, at home all day. Hubby will be poorly. And you'll be looking after him as his full-time carer. I said, oh, yeah, right, no, it won't. And, uh, yeah, it's just how life can change around on a sixpence, as it were. To coin a phrase, bubum. <laughs> so, yeah, you never know. So I like to help out where I can. And, uh, yeah, and while I can. Okay, let's see. I think three should be enough, but we'll see. Put the stickers on the lids. So yeah, Christmas is going to be fun. I'm going to be doing a lot of diamond painting, which I do love to do. It's something that I've been doing quite a few years now. And uh, yeah, I still like nothing better than to just sit down in front of the telly, uh, chatting away to hubby, watching telly, and uh, just plonking away with my little diamond painting pens and just making, just uh, relaxing. I find it really, really relaxing and it's my happy place. Oh, that's all gone in one. Oh, okay, maybe I'm not going to need four then. Maybe I will only need three. Looks like these are smaller bags. That's caught me out, never mind. Fortunately, I've got plenty of stickers, so. <laughs> yeah, I think these, obviously it was the others were in bigger bags, never mind. Uh, I don't count how many diamond paintings I've got for Christmas ones to do. Uh, I've got a lot of special drill ones. You know, I love my special drills. And, uh, yeah, I've got quite a few of those to do. And then I've got some wreaths. I've got some decorations. And I've got these stickers. And, yeah, I'll still be doing them up, right up to Christmas Eve. In fact, I might even still continue between Christmas and New Year. I think last year, uh, say because Hubby was in hospital, I just diamond painted anything that didn't move. <laughs> All right, I'll just pop that label on there. You never know. Okay, so we are cracking on. So where are we now? We are up to number three. Okay. There's some lovely colours in this. Um, these are resin drills as well. These aren't acrylic uh, craft, but do do resin drills, which are the little bit better quality. But sadly, you can get static with them if you're not careful. But uh, 
Oh, flip up. <laughs> By putting them into bottles, there won't be quite so much static. If you're putting them into plastic bags, you do tend to find you can get quite a bit. So, four. Okay. Yeah, I've still got my big painting. I have started it, but uh, whether I'll get it finished or not, I don't know. Um, it's the start of Rebecca Admore Zest's uh, advent tomorrow where she does um, a whip and chat every day on uh, YouTube and she does a portion of her diamond painting that she's uh, separated into 24. I think she's designed her own this year uh, in collaboration with Diamond Art Studio UK. Um, and uh, yeah she's going to be doing that and i just i can't take part this year i've taken part the last two years and this year unfortunately i've just got too much going on and i've got too much to do and much as i would love to sit you know and do a part of an advent calendar or do um one part of a painting each day um i've got too much of everything else to do <laughs> <clears throat> so i'm not taking part this year which is sad but anyway maybe next year we'll see how we go next year right so we have a snowflake on this one so this is the symbols that we're starting on because we've run out of letters and oops numbers And I have been talking so much, I am losing my voice. Ah, <laughs> hooray, says Hubby. <laughs> no, says me. Got too much to do. Um, so, yeah, Millie has to be bathed today because uh, she's been out rolling. So uh, she had quite a traumatic day when she went for her MOT. She hates the vets. She uh, squealed the place down, and that was before they put the injection in. She really is a baby. So, yeah. She, uh, oh, heck, now then, this is... Um, so that's that one. <clears throat> yeah, I'm just checking I've got the right one, and there isn't one that goes the other way up. <laughs> so these are the gems, the silvery ones. Yeah, the poor vet, she hasn't touched her yet, I said, oh, no, she does it every time. As soon as she sees the needle coming anywhere near her, even if she's got her head under my arm, you know, and I try and hold her and talk to her, she knows it's coming and she starts squealing really high-pitched. <laughs> oh, dear. But, uh, anyway, it's a necessary evil. I think after all the... Uh, covid injections and things we've had i said to her you're lucky at least it's only once a year <laughs> oh look we're gonna need another bottle for these heck okay so let's grab that one so this is that 36 oh my eyesight is absolutely appalling yeah, that one's 37, so this one must be 36. So it's A36 and it's an equal sign. And it's a gem number 16. Okay. Yeah, Craft Buddy have their own system of numbering for their special drills and gems. And I do keep my special drills from Craft Buddy. Uh, in those numbers as well so i'm hoping they've not changed them some of the re recent things that i've got have looked a bit different so it'll be interesting to see whether they have changed them or not right this is another big bag so i may need another bottle for this one as well but we'll see so where am i up to now that one's number 37 okay that's got a funny little round symbol on it okay, oops tip it that way Liz so that you're not fighting with the extra bit yeah I'm gonna need another one for this one as well I'm not going to overfill that then so we need oops put it the right way and it will help a 37 
and it's a blob with a little stick on it okay. and it's oh 46 <laughs> can always look at my little uh, key code when I'm kitting down um, if I get stuck. So, yes, I have another bottle there. Okay. <laughs> it had to happen. It had to happen. Look, I've got nearly all the way to the end without spilling. And, uh, yeah, it had to happen eventually. But fortunately, most of them went in the tray. Yay! <laughs> Oh dear. Hey ho. Right, so last couple. Get these in. Right. Okay. And now we want the dollar sign. And is it the percentage sign? Yep, so the dollar sign is in its separate little bag. And it has got a crystal art uh, written on the bag as well. So I like to keep these bags with crystal art written on. And then I keep all the ones with the diamonds on them as well. I'm just a magpie for anything different or anything with symbols and things on. So that'll go in my little separate pile over there. Considering how many stickers there are, there's not actually that many blingy colours, is there, on these? So we want the percentage sign and then that's the percentage sign and then it's the arrow. Okay. So not too long to kit up. Say 40 colours, 40 different ones. I may have to add some A, Bs and some extra bits of bling into this, I think. Because it's uh, not overly blingy. I know there are only stickers, but... Um, they were quite expensive stickers, I have to say. They are the most expensive stickers I've ever bought. Yeah, they are the most expensive stickers I've ever bought. So, yeah, I will, uh, I will be keeping them and reusing them, which is good. So I think they deserve to be blinged up. Okay. So that is those all kitted up and ready to go. And what I'll probably do, um, because they are now kitted up, uh, because it was 40 colours, I just thought there's no way that I can sit uh, and work from bags with 40 colours. It needed to be kitted up. And as you can see, some of them have got more than one bag as well. So I was going to have to be messing about with spare bags or whatever. Um, I'll probably do one sheet at a time. Um, and just you know do everything on this sheet with the colours and then work on to the next sheets. Um, I usually actually do the ones I don't like as much first <laughs> because otherwise if I leave them till last I might not do them at all but we'll see on those because there's quite a lot of them. Okay well thank you ever so much for coming along um i hope you've enjoyed this little chat uh, i certainly have it seems ages as i say since i've done a long chat along as it were uh if you've enjoyed uh, listening to me rabbit on then as always a thumbs up is very much appreciated if you've got any comments or questions leave them in the comments down below and if you would like to come back and see me hopefully finish these and see what I get up to next, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell next to it, you'll be notified when any of my videos come up and you'll be joining our little family. So, yay! <laughs> OK, well, thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.